way too sensitive. Give me a regulator. You know what I mean? That's what I'm telling you guys. Get a regulator. All right, now look at this fender, will you? Because. You know what I'm talking about? The width? Yeah, so I'm going to band the top, and then I'm going to make a pass onto about here, and then I'm going back and going all the way. my artwork. By the way, at seminars I don't wait as long as I would normally wait in the shop if I was doing something for somebody, because we don't have a lot of time to sit around and watch paint dry. Pearl? But it's too much pearl for control. Now this is just the can the pearl concentrate in transnebulae reduced 50%. So I put in four ounces of transnebulae, two ounces of reducer, slow. I like medium with this new system, uh, or even slow because it's quicker than the old system. But look at the bottom of this stir stick. When you see a cloudy draw like that, too much pearl. You can't control it. Let's see what happens. We're using straight line thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. paint that you can clear over. Acrylic urethane striping paint in 1986. I put that on the market and you can clear over it, smooth it out. You can't feel the bump from the stripe. You can't feel the flames. They're buried in the job. And it only takes two coats of clear to do that. One more coat of pearl. Say it again. 
again at seminars I don't wait between coats but normally I would now you know let it evade those solvents and then come back at it in the candy job it all sands out the next day and then you over reduce the clear the next time and put on a bond and two more wet and that's all the clear you need for the life of the job four coats of clear two bond coats four heavy coats is what I got on there and that will cut and buff and we're going to talk about that next the cutting and buffing and some of the new techniques that are out there now that make things look unbelievable you notice the increment went back to 50% with a full trigger pull on the clear. Okay, we're going to give it one more coat and we'll do that the one on each side. I like to have that first one tacked up a little bit. Because if you pump two coats of the catalyst right back to back, if the first one's not hanging on, that's why I say, you know, the finest sanding I like to do before the top coats is 400 grit. Guys think they have to go down to 1,000 grit, 1,200, 1,500. You got no tooth. Nothing for the job to hang on to. You go to the car wash and you blow your paint job off. Thanks for watching the video. It's Tony from Learn Auto Body and Paint. To get a free 85 page auto body and paint manual, just click the link in this video or 
below in the description, all right? You can learn more about auto body and paint. I have everything step-by-step -step for you so you can take all these strategies. I know sometimes it can be a little confusing, especially if you're brand new starting out. I have everything laid out step-by-step -step for you, but I want you to get that free 85-page auto body and paint manual right now. Download it, check it out, tons of free content, and uh, I enjoyed shooting these little clips of video here with my buddy John Kosmoski from House of Color. He is the founder of House of Color. He told me to come by as he was doing a class with his students here and uh, I just shot some homemade video quickly to give you an insider look. It's Tony. Talk soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.